Ten minutes after eight on a Thursday morning, and our Mark Rodriguez uh, got some safety goggles on, ready yep. to swing a bat. We got a bit of a science demonstration coming up, Mark. I love science. Blinded me by with science, right, Steve? I'll explain. Oh, I knew I'd almost miss that. I'll explain in just a few minutes why I have these on, why I have a baseball bat, Lynn. It's all part of our global props here, the mighty global. Uh, we, uh, we have something interesting coming up in all seriousness. Uh, temperatures this afternoon near 14 degrees away from the ocean. 10 degrees right here. It'll be 10 degrees this afternoon. It'll be 10 here and maybe nine and a half here. So. All right, welcome back to the morning news. We have uh, Jennifer Dirac with us from 3M, and we know 3M, of course, from products like tape and, yeah, and post-it post notes, notes and things like that. But you also have a, a technology department that I guess does a lot of research on finding new products and new ways to enhance old products. That's right. We've got multitude of platforms that we look at scientifically, and a few of them we've got here today. Some of which are our film layering technologies, as well as our micro replication and working things in tiny, tiny little particle sizes. Why? Why do you guys do? Do that? Why is it so important for 3M? Well, we diversify ourselves in many markets, and so we become strong players in all the areas we are. We we speak to our customers, get their their needs, mm -hmm. and develop those into various products that help satisfy some of their needs and wants. So we really try and play in a lot of different market spaces. All right. Well, we'll talk about the glass in a second, but why don't you explain what what this is? The glass bubbles. And sure. I, I, I read a little bit about it, and it, 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 a lot of it has to do with drilling, which is which is obviously important in this market too. Partly, yes. Um, what glass bubbles are? They're tiny little microspheres. They're about 50 microns in size, and it's glass, literally what they say, glass bubbles filled with air, and what they do is they modify the density of material, so they make them lighter. So if we're looking at concrete or plastics or anything else, we can infuse them with these glass bubbles mm -hmm. and change their density. So for example, as you said, in mining, when they're piping concrete down the mine shaft, right. Concrete's very heavy, and sometimes it can break the outlying rock and cause a lot of damage down the, uh, the oil pipe. Okay. So what they do is they incorporate these little tiny engineered glass bubbles into the concrete. And if I pour it out on my hand, you'll see that it's almost, it, they're tiny little glass particles, it's almost mm -hmm. like icing sugar is yeah, what it feels time, like. Yeah. But when you pour it on top of a water surface, it just floats on top because it's half the density of water. Okay. So when we take a concrete block, and mm -hmm. I'll let you hold that, it's yeah, a concrete block. If you concrete. drop that in water, okay. it's simply gonna drop to the bottom, as expected. But ones that are filled with glass bubbles, floats on the surface. So you maintain the physical properties of the concrete. It's still as strong as it once was. It's just lighter. And so that makes it easier to get out and, and causing damage and anything like that. That's right. Okay. That's interesting, actually. Now, let, talk about this this glass window we have here. Yeah. And we're going to bring Mark Madrig in here in just a second. Uh, but first, explain to us uh, what this well, is. Well, what we've got here is we've got a security film that we've put on this window. Now, security films have normally been very thick films. They're, they're not very... Um, optically clear. You can't right. typically see through them. And they've been very thick. So we've got some samples here of, of what they are. The original films were very thick. If you feel that, it's quite thick. Yeah, big time. The new films are thinner, but there's more layers to it. This had uh, three layers. This has up to 39 layers. Really? And what that does, four layers, if you want to tear that in two, you can see it'd be very easy to tear and break. So not very secure in the long run. Right. Try and tear the 39 layer film. There's a little tab on the other side just oh, to get to you started. Help? To help. You can see how difficult that truly is. It is, And yeah. what that helps with is when you put it on a window, it keeps it optically clear, but it helps against smash and grab type robberies um, in areas where there's violent weather systems. So if mm. there's any tree branches that are flying through windows. Also, if you have young children and you're worried about them running through the patio doors, mm. the glass won't shatter and it keeps the kids safe. All right. Now, you, uh, you have assured me that, that Mark can come up here and take a swing at this and it'll yeah. be okay. So, yeah. Mark, come on up Try here. Try and get a home run, Mark. Now, you got, now, I think we should move out of the way because right, hit a home we don't run, want this eh? to slide. So now, are you a righty or lefty? Yeah. I'm a righty. I well, should go around. Yeah, go around. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, let, now, the glass sec, let's cracks, but it will not shatter. Okay. okay. Take a couple shots. Yeah. Just to... Okay, go. Wow. So try as you may, you really can't get it to smash through. So a robber trying to get through this can't, get can't through do it. That's cool. As I said, keep your kids safe. Now okay. the nice part is 99% UV resistant, so it protects it. the stuff inside your house. Okay. And he thinks he's going to get through because he's a big, strong, All right, tough give it a go. Okay. All right. Wow. That is something. That is that incredible. Is. So, 3M yeah. Innovation, keeping you safe. Wow, that's great stuff. So we can, everyone can get their 
Russians out on the Marine Corps. <laughs> That's right. Maybe we, can, maybe we can buy like five of these and keep them around or cover the weather system with them when right. it crashes. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you very Thanks, much for Steve. being My here. And, uh, I love that, Mark. That's great you stuff. Too? I do too. That is good stuff. I've <laughs> I uh, I was sure I was going to get through that, but no dice. Yeah, no very dice interesting. At all. Love the science behind it. Thank you very much there. I love some people calling in about that glass film. The place in Vancouver to get it is called TitanWindowFilms.com. Get some more information there. So. Right. Mark's <laughs> still trying to break it. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We're back in a couple of minutes. Stay with us.